This video introduces you to the vector valued formula for Etor lemma. I assume you have seen my prior video on the scalar version of Etor lemma. So suppose you have n larger than zero stochastic processes xi, with i being element of 1 up to n. It's further assumed that each xi solves an Ito stochastic differential equation of the following form. With alpha i and theta i being potentially stochastic Ito processes themselves. Now let yt be the time t output of a smooth deterministic function which we call f. Now that function can take each of the stochastic processes xi as well as time as an input. Now that means the following holds f of t comma x1t up to xnt is equivalent to yt. Now the smoothness conditions on f are that f is continuously differentiable in t and twice continuously differentiable in xi for all stochastic processes i. Now, so if all of the above mentioned assumptions hold, then Ito formula states that the output to the f function solves the following Ito SDE. Now let's appreciate that equation for a while. Now, look at the last term, this bracket dxi comma dxj bracket term. Now that term is called the instantaneous covariation between process xi and xj. So let's add some insights to that term. Now the instantaneous covariation between xi and xj is written as bracket dxi comma dxj bracket. Now that just coincides with bracket theta i dwi comma theta j dwj bracket. Now the thetas go out of the bracket so you end up with theta i times theta j times the bracket of dwi dwj. So if the correlation between Brownian motion i and Brownian motion j was rho dt, meaning that the expectation of dwi times dwj equals rho dt, then the instantaneous covariation between xi and xj boils down to theta i times theta j times rho dt. So if you look carefully at that last term, you see that it's the instantaneous covariance between xi and xj. That is because it coincides with the product of volatility times volatility times the correlation coefficient.